Hello and welcome back to my newly organised craft room. Now regular viewers will see the difference, um, hopefully. <laughs> you might not, you might think what on earth has she done, it's still um, way too full. But um, <laughs> you'll see a bit of difference in the display behind me. And um, I'm going to give you a closer look now, I promise that I'll do a craft room tour. So I have just recorded it on my phone, it's a bit of a palaver. Hopefully it's worked anyway. And, and I shall pass over in a minute um, to my earlier self and give you a good old snoop in all of my nooks and crannies, warts and all. You'll see the whole thing, all the bits you don't you don't normally see. I think I'm going to have to stop and close the curtains a minute. That's better. <laughs> That's a shame having to shut up such a lovely sunny day. But anyway, um, so yeah, I have been uh, AWOL for a couple of weeks. Uh, it's partly because I, I have. This is what I've been busy doing. But um, a part of the reason why I started doing it is long overdue. I was getting to a point where I couldn't find anything but also because I was just feeling a bit under the weather and a little bit and just um just kind of lost my creative mojo for a while and one of the things I like to do when I get like that is to think okay let's use the time to go through and sort and to be honest I got about a couple of days in and wished I'd never started but now I am really pleased it still looks stuffed to the gills, but I have got a pile of stuff to donate to charity. Um, a whole lot of stuff has gone in the recycling, which I found quite difficult to do. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's oh, it's bliss now, and I am now itching to get back in here and, and start creating again. I've got lots of projects to oh, some already started, some new ones to start. I'm so excited! I've got some lovely goodies to come back and show you that I came home with from the uh, Stitch Festival down in London, down in Islington um, a couple of weekends ago. Uh, so much going on and of course today is, is April Fool's Day but this is no joke. It's the first day of the of the third Great Big Little Stitchery Swap and Great Big Little Art Swap. I did finish off my couple of, I'll share pictures of these now. I've, now I've actually t to finish them and take them photos. I did make a couple of squares. I'm not. I'm actually stepping out of the swap this time to spend the time putting together my my squares that I got sent from last time. But I did do these couple. I did them on a video. I'll, I'll link to the video where I, I showed how to make these. Just really simple, simple squares. Just sort of beginner friendly. And I will come back show a couple of ideas I had. If you would like to follow the optional theme for the swap this time, which is windows. So. I will link to my previous video telling you everything you need to know if you'd like to join in the Stitchery Swap. I will also put my link tree and from there you can find your way to the Arty Farty Annie Facebook group or our free Discord community and that's where you'll need to go to um, to join in with either of the swaps. This is all a bit garbled. I will get to the craft room tour in a second I promise. Hang on to the end of the video because I have got some exciting news about this weekend, this coming weekend which will be Saturday the 6th of April. We've got our Saturday night live. We do the, we do one on the first Saturday of every month and there's extra something extra special exciting about this one. So hang on to the end of the video and I will tell you all about that. Right I'm gonna stop recording this now and um, pop in uh, the little film that I recorded on my phone so it's all gonna go like this now for a minute <laughs> okay and then I'll come back and see you again okay so we're gonna go into my uh, newly organized craft room now <laughs> brace yourselves <laughs> warts and all you're gonna see the whole thing all the bits you don't usually get to see. <laughs> oh, well, I may have to do this in stages. I may have to move things and uh, stop and start. So here's a let's do a quick pan of the whole room <laughs> first, and then I'll show you bit by bit. It's quite a little room. It's a second bedroom, really. So there's a. There's a quick glimpse of everything and now I'm going to go back to the door and we'll start from there. So they're hanging on the back of the door. <laughs> I've made, had to make the most of every little nook and cranny here. Hanging on the back of the door is this organiser for uh, lace and ribbons and behind there are some of the beautiful craft bags. A lot of them have been made for, for me by lovely friends over the years and I love using them. And I go out on little crafting trips and things. 
Okay, so that's them, right. And then we've got this uh, first shelf unit here. So there on the top, you can see an older puppet and I'm in the middle of refurbing. There's the, the Tom puppet that Tom and I made ourselves. Proper working puppet. And there's Stephen, strange stock cre sock creature. Those cases have all got things in them. One of them's got all my soldering kit. Um, I can't even remember. The one thing I haven't done yet, or one of the things I haven't done yet, is is label everything. So, yeah. And I've tried to keep these shelves just to display things that I've made myself or people have sent me. So there's my trash dolls there. A lot of fun making my trash dolls. My little trolls. Music. I love these little music boxes. My Heidi Ock doll. I've treasured her for years. She's beautiful. Little heart that Jackie sent me. One of Jackie's weird and wonderful creatures there. <laughs> oh, some teddies. Oh, there's Johnny Depp hiding there. <laughs> uh, there's little fabric books and things. Lovely little gifts people have made for me. I found my whatnot. <laughs> These little rice bags. This one Claire made for me. This one um, Sue made for me. Sue Double O Sue, and uh, I keep them. Keep different. Um, one of them's got tatting in, and one of them's got my mending loom in. Is that mushroom I made? Here's the the box where all of my um, postcards for the for Tory Stitch longer going. Lovely little. Um, Scrolls from Maggie Morris there. I forgot to mention this one was from Deb Wrigley. And then down here we've got also another bit of Maggie, Maggie Morris there. Here I've got things that are kind of works in progress. <laughs> and there I've got um, different crochet yarns and wools and fibres and things ready for weaving and such like. Here's a couple of Kawandi quilted bags, which I've, I'm storing fabric in. Okay. Um, these I've made everything in this room can be moved out of the way to get to something else. So I just need to stop recording while I move these baskets out of the way. Okay, ta-da! Baskets out of the way. And then there's more storage in behind here. This one's got projects waiting to be done. All kinds of things in there. I'll never be at a loss for something to do. <laughs> and what's in here? Oh, there's all there. Patterns and things in there. What have I got in here? Paracord, ribbons and cords and things. This is the gym mat that I use for blocking my crochet. Okay, let's move a bit to the left now. Um, at the top there you can see boxes and things ready to be turned into other other projects. Um, each of those boxes has got things in for making uh, models and stuff like that it's that lovely 3d printed <laughs> sign that tom made me more storage here and again lovely things that people have made me so these are these felt creatures in the front here are from johnny oh peeking up the back is a gorgeous creature from jackie actually it's a bit too hidden at the back <laughs> we need to rearrange them a bit there's um that lovely cat that um tori sent me there's my well my first make from the makers and there's my cat's bum now. More about the cat's bum in a minute. Take notice of that cat's bum. That's going to be important. <laughs> Little felt foxes I made years ago. Birdies from Jackie's Jackie. Um, made that from a pound shop kit, that dream catcher. Here's art journals and things all along there. Another felt kit I made yonks ago. Um, doodle book from Susie Q cuffs um bracelet cuffs from kits that i got from tori and more sketchbooks and things in behind there's art journals and stuff <laughs> that's me <laughs> and i love this little sign was given to me by a friend years ago because of my bizarre cat that i had at the time <laughs> if anybody um is on discord you'll know you'll know pee, -Pee private paula who we refer to as pee, -Pee. This is Pee Pee, <laughs> finger puppet of Pee Pee, and this is a finger. This is a finger puppet of Shorts. They're both uh, we we got to know them on Twitch and Discord. You'll see Shorts in in the chat sometimes in live streams, and you you'll definitely know Pee Pee if you're in our Discord. Here's a little music box which was a knackered old 
thing not particularly um not particularly pretty so I refurbed it and made it look more sort of vintagey and I love it and it still works I can't mind it because I've only got one hand but that's the spool that my scroll my rainbow scroll which I've hung up there for the time being can't see all of it these are music things you can you can punch the holes and then run them through a player I have got the player and then all of these drawers have got different things in. I won't go through all of them because we'd be here all day. But um, and I need I've got a labelling system to any words you see on the front here aren't true anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've gone through every single drawer. Everything is organised. I have got so much blimmin' stuff. Let's just randomly look at a few just to prove that I have tidied every single drawer. <laughs> oh. Resin stuff. So that's kind of yeah, all tools and and things, and then um, oh, it's more sort of materials down here, wooden stuff, metal wires, um, shrinky stuff, different plastic meshes and things. There's foam here somewhere, gilding, foiling, and, and gilding materials, acetate. <laughs> Uh, and these are bits and pieces of strained drunk junk that I keep because it's useful for making miniatures. Um, I, I'm not going to pull all of that out now, but I'll try and show you. So that basket on the top has got all of my felting stuff in. And underneath are different fabrics and stuff all sorted out. And in behind, um, Tom brought me over some vacuum bags and we... we vacuum packed a lot of um, the fur fabric and polyfill stuff that I had really it's massive bulk um, but you do use a lot when you go into stuff things but it takes up a lot of room so that's kept it squashed and all I have to do is unzip the top and uh, I can get to it easily when I need to and here's one of my pom-pom blankets under there there are two baskets of wool I have found a way to hopefully use up some of that Put it to good purpose. Okay, let's move around a bit. And there's my sewing machine. It's for holding an embroidery frame. And this is for holding wool. My friend Trina gave me this and she said she got me a bare wood one so I could decorate it. So that's another project waiting to be done. Um, and that's got different kinds of um, art mediums and masking fluid and things like that in there. I won't bother going through them all now. Suffice to say, there aren't many arts or crafts projects I could want to do that I haven't got the stuff for. <laughs> ah, that's my little my little table that will fold right down to very very small. You can see that middle section. So if I do need to clear the floor I can actually clear a lot of floor space by folding that down. Everything's movable or foldable. <laughs> Underneath those little cases which I think are really, look really cute as well have got embroidery threads in. Underneath this this is my Celebrating 61 quilt. Um, underneath that is my little vintage typewriter. Uh, basket of lovely fibres and balls and things. Some more gorgeous Maggie Morris work on the top there. This is a little vintage embroidery basket that I keep my... Um, let see if I can manage to show you. I keep my... Um, I can't do it with one hand. Um, nouveau drops and pigment powders and things like that are all in there. I don't think you can really see it. It's a really useful little container for that. Uh, I've used up some of the space on the windowsill, but I've tried to keep it a little bit less cluttered than it was. Um, okay, so we're moving around the room now. And um, here you can see... Another unit with lots of tiny drawers in. I got these units when I was madly into scrapbooking years ago, and I've had the, the use has changed over the years. So I've replaced some of the drawers and things now with I got hold of some MDF um, and made them into sort of stronger shelves to put heavier things on. So I've got all my sketchbooks and things there, um, more <laughs> more drawers with. Uh, Various bits and bobs. This let's get this unit out of the way. So this unit here is on wheels, and that's got all my die cutting machines and um, bind it all, coil binding machine and things like that. All lots of uh, my dies and stuff are there. 
papers like the wax wrap and Reynolds wrap and things that are useful for all kinds of techniques. My guillotine is there, my stamping mat, that kind of thing is all there. And everything. So templates there. Embossing folders. Oops, that one's a bit heavy because it's got all the it's got all the cutting mats for the um in, for the die cutting machine. And the great thing about this little unit, it's not particularly pretty, but it does wheel out of the way quite easily. I'm, I'm doing that with one hand, although it's quite heavy. I don't know where I could lift it, but I can wheel it. So there we are, that's that. So now we can see everything that's here. There's a little thing there with all kinds of useful rolls of paper, like um, velvet paper, which is good for all kinds of model making and lining boxes and stuff like that. Paper for origami, there's there's cork on a roll, um, blackboard on a roll, canvas on a roll, <laughs> decorative papers and things, dolls has wallpaper, all kinds of stuff in there. Little things like uh, there's the, the um, what's it called? It's called a heddle, belongs to my loom, table loom. And things like dolls house, skirting board, and coving and stuff there. This little, this little nook and cranny, I told you I'll show you all the nooks and crannies. No space has been wasted. That's got my easel in there. A giant roll of cling film. We had it removing, but obviously it's useful. I just, I just let myself keep just a few cardboard rolls. I got rid of a whole load that I'd hoarded. And here we've got, I can hold you up and you can see what I'm too short to see. So <laughs> that's all the coil bindings that go with my binding machine. What's in this one? Oh, that, um, yes, I've got, um, this is lino, this is lino cutting equipment on, on this one and in that drawer. And then this is jelly printing, this is stuff that I use with jelly printing, like the deli paper, bubble wrap, the brayers in there, stuff like that. Scratch board stuff, um, screen printing stuff in those two. Um, my my new little portable craft room iron and some other things because I've got a plug down there. I'm a bit short of plugs but you can see there's one plug down there not plug one socket and um, so all the things I might need to plug in and use at this table I've put here in this area and so there's like the glue gun and um, soldering iron pyrography thing the iron stuff like that they're all there the glue sticks are also there and various other bits, punches are right at the bottom because they're heavy. And then here we're going on to all kinds of paper. So um, there's pattern papers of different sizes all in here. Scrapbook, what I've got left of my scrapbook supplies all there because I'll still use them. And then I've got things like, I've labelled there fancy paper. Funny shaped, oops, funny shaped and patterned and embossed kind of papers. Mulberry paper, that kind of thing. Quilling, stickers, or transfer papers, things like that for yeah, doing image transfers on fabric and that sort of thing. Um, don't know what you call that, but they go together in my head. <laughs> Metallic papers, cut ones and whole ones, <clears throat> tissues and decoupage papers, napkins, stickers, and then ephemera and decorative collage papers kind of thing and then here we've got up in that one I think I've got yeah I've got um, pieces of, of chipboard uh, grey board and stuff these have got small sketchbooks small sketchbooks I've built up quite a lot of them from having scholar boxes but I don't use them a lot so I need to start using them to make greetings cards or something um, lots of grey board here very useful for model, model making um, messy mats I call them <laughs> On what you call them craft mats um more sketchbooks and things there my mommy garmi paper ended up slotted in there because i couldn't find another home for it but it's all right there i've got some fancy stuff here that i haven't played with yet but i'm dying to have a go with jen sent me that i believe more, pa more paper and card and yeah vellum these are works in progress on this shelf here and these are um, larger sketchbooks and my sort of little mini portfolios of stuff I've made. I've also got some of those shoved down this little nook and cranny here. 
Up there you can see kind of cases that I've got pens, markers and things in and pencils. So there's three of those there. There's another one up on top. The spotty ones here are actually stamps and die sets. And these three things are where I keep magazines and things to cut up for collage. Little tools there. Peg's just there for fun at the moment. Um, I did splash out on some proper ink storage so I can get to it all easily. And what one of the things I still need to do is to is to make little um, labels for the front showing the colours so it's easy to find them. Um, I liked it. I got these, bought these little drawers as well. They're really nice just for keeping. So there's a lot of distress inks there, and I've got these distress inks in a bottle there as well. Um, it's nice that this little unit has rubber feet on it so you can just pull the drawers out without the whole lot coming down. <laughs> So yeah, it's all different kinds of inks there. Here we've got paints. So there's gouache and watercolour, I believe, on the top. No, it's all watercolour on top then. Gouache, acrylics, um, water-soluble oils, uh, gesso and stuff there. I made myself throw away all the dodgy paintbrushes and just kept the ones that are still really nice. And then palette knives there, acrylic inks at the back, um, various mediums and things in behind there, um, easier to, to get to because I put them on that little drawer. Um, alcohol inks and fluid acrylics and uh, gilding creams and things like that. More paintbrushes in that black case as well. And then moving down here to my desk, there's a little thing, that little caddy there that I keep papers that I'm using at the moment. Each of those little Storage boxes has got different kinds of paper and things in, all categorised. Notebooks to scribble my ideas down on all on the top shelf there, except the ones I'm using now. So I'm going to try and use one or two at a time so I don't get befuddled. Um, Colour pencil storage there. I splashed out on new pegboard. That's one of the new buys. Well, this is my current arts collector. <laughs> so I try to keep it so that what's on my desk are the things I reach for all the time, or that I like to have around me when I'm creating. So that might change a little bit over time, but you know. Um, little whirly gig here, tapes. These cups are. That one was made by a friend years and years ago, and this one was given to me by a friend more recently. But then I still put more to him when I'm painting. Love these prices. Open window candles. They're only two ninety nine. They smell lovely. This is a little labelling system that I'm trying out because it was quite cheap. It was like compared to anything else I could find, it was like three quid or something. And you get the little labels and then the stick on plastic things. So I'm going to stick them on all the drawer fronts and things so so I know where everything is. Um, oh, quick look at what my filming <laughs> arrangement is. Not much. So there's a, a ring light, which I have on all the time when I'm filming. And that's the, the camera that films what I'm doing on my desk. So I can adjust this up and down. Can't do it with, with one arm. <laughs> and then this is another light here. And this is my microphone. Um, and then there's the webcam that I, I look at when I'm filming. When I'm talking to the camera kind of thing, there's an amazing picture of a sloth. Never knew that they grew kind of algae and fungi and stuff on their coats to help their camouflage. It looks like it's got grass instead of fur. Um, and there's my actual PC and, my, and the speaker there. On top of those, some of those newspaper baskets that I made. Um, a couple of frames and things stashed down there. All of these are all kind of electronic-y bits over here. Um, stored on an old, <laughs> old um, mini kind of butcher block thing I used to have in my old kitchen. Oh, going round again. This is the last wall now. Um, here we've got another unit, just an, a normal bookshelf. We have some kits and stuff on the top there. That whole of that top shelf is threads, different kinds of threads. These jars here, I'm going to redo the tops because they've gone all faded and funny. <coughs> Redo the tops with something pretty and they'll be my, my new Orts jars, I think. Armature wire and florist tape and stuff there. Junk jewellery, ready to break up and use. And then here are things like metal um, 
book rings and corners and feet and things like that, her key rings and all that sort of stuff. More of the same in these little drawers. Um, I need to label all of these. Um, that's how she got string in, believe it or not. <laughs> My little thing for, I forgot what you call this. Spare hands or something, extra hands. I forgot what they call it, but basically it's got a magnifier and it's got like two extra little clips here. So it's like having an extra pair of hands and a better pair of eyes when you do making tiny things. And here's another thing that's useful when I'm doing tiny things. My goggles with a light. Um, this box has got the thing in that you use to play the music strips that I was talking about just now. This has got leather songing and stuff like that in there. Oh look, here's the extra... Um, the extra lenses for these, for this goggle thing. Um, pasta machine there actually for clay. These are various bits and pieces I use for making miniatures here and making and storing miniatures. Except on the front there, I've got two more of those Price's candles, which I had to buy them in threes, and this paracord jig here. Um, and here, because I can't find another space for them, these are little sewing kits and things in there waiting to be done. Uh, my to-do basket, <laughs> keyboard, mouse, or Bluetooth. And then under here, this is this table actually all folds up as well. Um, down here, this is more electric stuff in there. Down there is jewelry kit. Um, this table actually folds up. And normally, all of that won't be underneath. These are things that have been sent to me or that I bought at the. Stitch Festival recently that are waiting to be used and um, videoed. So uh, yeah, they won't normally be there. And underneath, more of those boxes um, with stuff in waiting to be uh, transformed. So there's a um, notice board where I'd accumulated quite a lot of stuff. I've cleared it all off now and it's all ready for new, to put new things up there. And underneath is a basket around keeping all my swaps and little notes and things that come in until they end up going into one of my scrapbooks or whatever, <laughs> a later date. And then down here, these are all like sticky things, sticky foam pads and things like that. And uh, different kinds of adhesive tape. Um, yeah, I might go all the way down there. <laughs> and then here, Tom always laughs about this, here, this is glue tower. This is also movable. So I could bring it out and have it next to me if I wanted to. A lovely thing, thing back there waiting to be made into something amazing hopefully see so yeah, i've got every kind of uh every kind of glue you can think of on there and then towards the bottom things like isopropyl alcohol and uh, pva and stuff like that down there as well so um yeah and we're back to where i started well down the side there were my these are made for holding sandwiches for catering but I use them as a cheap skate wet palette. You just put loads of J cloths in the bottom, soaked J cloths in the bottom, and a square of wax paper, uh, not wax paper, grease food paper over the top. Bingo! Cheap skate wet palette. Keeps acrylic paints or whatever wet for ages. And then here is my cheap skate version. I haven't started using it yet, it's a new one. Just by a chopping board. It's got a slight surface to it, texture to the surface. Um, and if you scribble your watercolour pencils or ink tense pencils on there, you can then activate the powder that it creates to, to make a little like a paint. Yeah. You can buy an expensive version of that from Derwent, but that's just the same. Top tip. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm now going to go back to my desk and um, finish talking to you. Oh, look, I nearly missed one more thing, even under my desk, look. I've put a little shelf unit, so there's my bins, my footstool, which I need because my feet don't touch the floor. And I've put, and the sort of plastic bits you can see on the side there are spare shelves and drawers and things, which I'm not quite sure what to do with, that fit in these units. And yeah, little shelf unit at the back with some extra um, stamps. You can see there, stamps and die sets. Um, Deli paper that I use for jelly printing. There's a couple of tie dye kits there and some paint markers. Waste no space. And there's my little tabletop palette there and my cutting mats. That's it. Oh, and the drawers here down the side. <laughs> How to hide a body. Let's do this. <laughs> I 
that's why I keep my notes and things and I've got stuff like staplers, lighter for the candles, stuff like that that I'm going to use often. Razors and sharpeners, scissors, a few more. Whoops, oh, thought I'd empty drawer for a second. No. Various inks and things in there. Things that I want to be able to lay my hands on easily. Okay, that's really it now. I'm finished. What a lovely sunshiny day it is today. It won't look much on camera, but it's a beautiful day, 1st of April. Okay, back to the desk and I'm going to go talk, talk to you properly now. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that little snout around my craft room. If there's any nooks and crannies I missed or bits you wanted about that I didn't mention, do feel free to ask me in the comments. <laughs> I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, yeah, i got a lot of stuff. And I've, like, I mean, one of the nice things about doing this, once, once, it, once it is finished, is that you kind of refresh yourself, remind yourself about all the amazing stuff that you've got to play with. And I do feel very, very lucky to have this space to play in and the time and the time. Um, yeah, all my, you know, all my working life, I never had time to do all the stuff I, I, that was going on in my head. And now I'm just lucky enough that I, I can. So I do really appreciate it. Anyway, um, I'm all a bit all over the place. It's, it's amazing. Two weeks away and I can't remember how to, how to make a video. Anyway. <laughs> I hope I can remember to edit in a minute. Yes, I will. I will link to videos about the swaps and things in case you want to know about that. There will be a little flurry of videos for me this week, having had nothing at all for two weeks because I've got lots of catching up to do. I'm so excited. Lots of amazing projects. And on Saturday, as I mentioned just now, Saturday the 6th at 8pm UK time until 10pm UK time, Tom, my son Tom and I will be streaming live from here in my craft room I haven't quite decided what craft i'm going to be doing yet but whatever i do i don't usually get it finished i usually spend more time catching up with the chat and stuff because that's the whole point of these saturday night in streams did i call it saturday night live just now i think i did <laughs> they're live streams then we call them saturday night in i better call it a saturday night live <laughs> idiot the extra special news for this time is that um the lovely Barbara Brady, hello Barbara, I call her BB, <laughs> um, has very kindly donated a lovely gift for one lucky viewer during our live stream this Saturday. I, I can't believe it, I wish I could enter it myself, <laughs> I probably better not, especially as you've just seen all the stuff I've already got. Anyway, anyway it is a full set of 150 Prismacolor pencils. <gasps> what an incredibly generous gift. What a, I mean, they are my probably my one favourite. I had to pick one favourite coloured pencil and I could only ever use one coloured pencil for the rest of my life. I love ink tents too, but they're a different thing. Uh, but for coloured pencils, Prismacolor, oh, 150 the full set and Barbara has very kindly said that uh, she will send this to the winner I need to check with her where she's happy to post to but I know she definitely said UK and US so I will check about that before Saturday so do make sure you join us I am not going to be doing any giveaways via Facebook um, or Instagram or anything anymore like I did before because we got scammed last time going forward from from this time going forward I will only be um, doing kind of pretty much impromptu videos for people that are regular viewers and Barbara did say that she was giving this for the next Saturday Night Live so um, so I hope if you whether your whether art is your main thing or with stitching or any other um, crafts are your main thing it's always lovely to have a really good set of colored pencils and a lovely port range of colors to sketch out your ideas with and all of that oh it is an absolutely fabulous prize thank you to barbara for 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 donating it it's just really really kind and sweet of her yeah she's a she's a, she's a real sweetie she's one of the regulars you will know you will know barbara as b brady in our discord community and she's just Barbara Brady in the Facebook group. So, okay, so uh, that is it from me for now. I'm going to get back into the um, 
one of the things again I haven't been I've been very absent from Discord and from Facebook over the last couple of weeks I've just had to kind of I don't know just had to take a bit of time time out and uh but yep i'm back with vengeance now you'll be sick of the sight of me in no time at all i'm sure <laughs> okay thank you very much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed that little snoop around my craft room as i say you've got any questions about any of it that i didn't talk about then please do feel free to ask um and hopefully i'll see you on saturday <laughs> thanks very much for watching today enjoy the rest of your week and i will see you again really soon bye Where's my... I see you need to tidy up you can't even find your mouse <laughs> I'm going to go for a period now of not knowing where anything is oh. I think my marbles ran away under the desk there somewhere <laughs>